Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, really quick, you guys wanna know about Billy Goat Debris Loaders and we're gonna do a little shopping buying guide here. Uh, before we do, really quick, turn this way, Rob. We just got done doing a leaf cleanup over here. So if I am talking fast or sweating, it's because it's like 50 degrees today and we're actually doing pretty good. We're doing some cleanups today. Yeah. All right, so Rob's on the camera. Here's what we're gonna talk about, Billy Goat Debris Loaders. I have, you know, I don't have it all figured out, but let me give you my uh, good, better, best or the shopping guide idea. So there's different Billy Goat Debris Loaders. There's also other Billy Goat Debris, or other Debris Loaders by Skag, and I'm sure there's some other brands, right? Maybe Little Wonder. A um, lot of times you're gonna see like 13 horsepower, 18 horsepower, 25s, 27s, maybe a 37, maybe even a 29, right? Somewhere up and down. The most popular ones from Billy Goat, 13, 18, I think a 27, and maybe a 37, okay? So which one do you buy? Well, first off, to help the algorithm. You guys know how this goes. You have to tell me which one you guys have and which one you guys are rocking with and thumbs up the video, right? That's the buy-in on today's video. Actually, I ser seriously appreciate the support. It really helps the videos get surfaced. You guys know how YouTube works. All right, so here's our Billy Goat Debris Loader. This is uh, 13 horsepower. Actually, I'm sorry, 18 horsepower. So Rob, why don't you come over here really quick. Uh, we've got a probably a 10, 12 inch uh, an inlet tube that we're sucking up all the debris. Here's the uh, guard, the, the uh, this clamps down when you take the hose off. This is uh, just one whole, uh, two pieces. We don't have any extenders on here or anything like that. And maybe a, probably a good eight or 10 inch uh, discharge hose that goes into a five yard box. Uh, Rob, if you wanna jump on this side with me, we can just show them the engine. This is in the field, Rob, this is how we're doing it. Uh, throttle. Uh, ignition start, which was a must. Okay, anything over 13, 18 horse, you're gonna want ignition start because cranking this handle is a nightmare. You guys taught me that. Everybody said go with the ignition start. And then over here, I don't know if you can see this, Rob, this is our uh, fuel cutoff, right? So we wanna turn this all the way off, okay? Once we're done with the unit, let the unit keep running, and that way it burns any excess fuel out of the motor, okay? And here's your ignition, obviously, gas tank on top. Also. I remember yes. that we learned this recently. The uh, safety switch. Let's yeah. go back over there. <laughs> With this tube, we found out we were trying to get it started, but there's actually a safety. Right here. There's right a... there, that black little lever. Yep. Tube goes on it, it clamps it down, turns off the safety, because we had a good, what, 20 minutes trying to start oh, this thing? At least. We killed the battery. We didn't know why it didn't start. It was the first time we were putting the unit back on our tongue for our trailer. So we didn't, we took it off last year in the winter, right? So as we go to put it back on, we're like, why isn't it starting up? And uh, that took us at least a half hour, right? Yeah. That was frustrating. Okay, so here's my buying guide, here's my shopping guide. And this is actually after talking to some of you guys this last couple of days via Instagram and DM. So here's my suggestion. If you have a setup like mine, maybe a debris loader, uh, that's about 18 horsepower to 25 horsepower, would probably be my biggest suggestion for you guys to go with. Okay, this right here with the rack mount and the Billy Goat debris loader, last year, I think it was $6,500 out the door from Weingarts over here in Farmington, uh, Farmington Hills, Michigan. So my uh, box right here, uh, Rob, if you can pan to this, this is five and a quarter uh, yards worth of leaf material that we can take away. We can actually fit quite a bit in there because the mowers is let's say a two to one reduction. This is a five to one reduction. So five yards times five is 25 yards, right? And that's compressing it down to the five yards in the box. So when we're doing leaf cleanups like this pile over here, this is mostly grass and leaves and it's, it's already pretty fine, it's pretty powder, okay? What you don't see in here is sticks, uh, a bunch of pine needles, uh, not a lot of like acorns or those gumballs that some of you guys have on your property. And so this right here, this pile can suck up maybe, we can suck this up and what do you think Rob? Five minutes, 10 minutes? Oh yeah. Not even. All right, so let's go back to the tube because I think this is going to be the biggest determining factor about whether or not you should go with an 18 to 25 horsepower or the big 37 horsepower unit because here's our tube. You guys can see right here. Metal tip, metal design. Uh, this is probably, I'd say 12 inches, 10, 10 to 12 inches, okay? So when we're going through our piles back and forth, right, we have no problem cleaning this up because everything that we're sucking up is grass and leaves. And we're only putting it into a five cubic yard box. Now, let's say you have a, an eight foot dump bed. I would still probably go with an 18 to 25 horsepower unit. So that goes to the other side of the spectrum, right? As you guys would imagine, 
Uh, and is this helpful so far? If so, leave me some comments, help me out. Big thumbs up, we're trying here. <laughs> um, if you have a dump trailer, uh, six by 12, five by 10, seven by 14, whatever, right? And you guys are putting the eight foot high plywood walls on there and you got the tarp on top and you're gonna take 25, 30 yards compacted, which is really, with a five to one reduction, what is that? A uh, hundred yards that you get to suck up. And let's say you're in an old uh, area, like like Rhode Island, right? There's trees that are 50, 80, 100 feet tall. That's old money, it's an old area, if you will, like everything's super mature, the leaves are crazy, all the oak trees. Uh, maybe you got a heavily wooded area. Uh, you're sucking up tons of leaves, tons of pine needles, tons of sticks. That 37 horsepower unit, at least with Billy Goat, right, is gonna be the weight to go, because here's why. That tube, instead of it being this 10, 12 inches, it's a good, 13 12 13 15 inches uh, somebody measure it for me leave me a comment down below what are you guys rocking on that 37 horsepower unit so we're talking volume we're talking capacity and we're talking power to mince up those sticks and those pine needles and those gumballs so that's where i would go with a 29 or a 35 or 37 horsepower de debris loader okay so and that's the that's coupled with the dump trailer right so if a huge dump trailer with the huge walls right and you can fit 25 yards of leaves and you want to get it done you got two three uh crews that are curbside taking up five six guys you guys are just crushing it right you got this huge outfit maybe a skag windstorm or a billy goat um stand on leaf blower right you got this huge outfit i'm thinking djl rich and those guys down in toledo ohio area they've got four or five guys crushing it maple tree landscaping they've got all these guys working well time is money so you want the biggest dump trailer the biggest debris loader the biggest tube the biggest inlet and the biggest capacity right so that's where i would go all in a lot of you guys that are maybe owner operator or small business like mine one or two three guys maybe you got a uh even like a a long bed dump tray uh dump box or a smaller five by ten dump trail and you want to put the 18 horsepower on the on the tongue or on the swing door on the back that'd be totally fine 18 to 25 horsepower that's where i would go I'm not sure the price on the 37 horsepower, but by then you're probably eight, nine, 10, 12 grand territory. Uh, and now they even have the 37s that have their own little cart that you can hook up to a, a dump truck and tow it around town. Actually back at my uh, apartment complex, there's a huge dump trailer, I'm sorry, dump truck out uh, front with one of those uh, Billy Goat debris loaders on wheels. Uh, Cause it was just, there was your dedicated leaf sucking up rig. Well, then you're gonna want that 37 horsepower uh, setup, right? So all those guys, all those cruisers, two mowers, two vacuums, they were just making two huge dump piles, one at the entrance and then one by my building, just dumping all, all up. And then another dump truck is gonna go through later and suck all that up, all right? There's my buying guide, okay? All right, does this help you guys out a little bit? Uh, I wish somebody would make a video. I know this might sound simple to some of you guys that have been in the industry for a while, but nobody ever made videos like that for me. Uh, so what did I go with? I went with the 18 horsepower unit and it's been a gem. It's been perfect for us. Probably did a lot of talking, any comments? No, I love it. I mean, it's taken our uh, productivity, especially with leaf cleanups <sighs> up a to lot. 10, 10 X. Yeah, cause we used to just have the one high side and we would just dump our leaves and we would fill this every two properties because they weren't yeah. compacted and reduced, right? So we our dump fees were through the roof. We'll, we'll make our money back on dump fees over five to seven years alone because it's $35 at a minimum to dump this. And so we instead of dumping it two, three times a day like we used to do, thankfully the actual dump is a minute down the road, but that would be 60 to $100 a day when we were just dumping after two properties and just eating into our profits. Now we've got this set up with the debris loader, lifesaver, game changer for spring and fall cleanups. All right, that's what I got for you guys today. Um, Billy Goat, checks in the mail, right? Holla at your boy. Uh, trying to buy a house here, you know what I'm saying? So build a house, just having some fun. All right guys, hey, that's it. Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. If you guys are new to the channel, we're all about helping you guys with uh, lawn landscaping, how to grow a more successful business. If you guys wanna watch some of the other review videos, the how-to videos, the daily vlogs, check it all out. Maybe consider subscribing if you're new. Super appreciate the support. All right, over now, bye.